there are many ways in which things may be transported across the cell membrane, such as diffusion, active transport, facilitated diffusion, etc. However, one of these is the process of bulk transport, where the cell will use its membrane to engulf something outside the cell. There are different forms of this. In one process, known as penocytosis, the cell membrane will pinch inward and engulf simply some of the surrounding cell fluid. This happens uh, quite a great deal, as, especially in cells lining blood vessels. So this penocytosis has been compared to cell drinking, where the cell engulfs fluid. The cell membrane is covered in receptors, and receptors bind to specific substances known ligands. Very often, this engulfing process, known as endocytosis, uh, is caused when receptors bind their ligands, and so that the area where specific ligands exist is the area which is then brought into the cell to form a vesicle. So, for example, uh, if there are LDL receptors uh, for LDL particles, which transport lipids, uh, when LDL particles bind their receptors, this can stimulate then the engulfing or the endocytosis of this region. This is receptor-mediated endocytosis. Bulk transport may also allow a cell to engulf a large solid object. Uh, so it is a large solid object which binds a receptor, and then the cell membrane will engulf this region. Now this could be bacteria, and white blood cells or microglia in the brain could engulf this. But then osteoclasts may do this with bone fragments, and uh, as it dissolves bone. And uh, there are cells in the liver and spleen which will engulf old red blood cells. And so the engulfing of a large solid object, or cell eating, is known as phagocytosis. When we digest foodstuffs, we first take it to our stomachs, which is a bag of acid which has digestive enzymes, and this begins the breakdown of these foodstuffs. Cells do something similar. When uh, a solid object is engulfed, it can then fuse to lysosomes. Lysosomes are membrane-bound structures inside the cell that are full of digestive enzymes in an acidic juice. The acid and the digestive enzymes can then break down the solid object, producing the nutrients and waste. The nutrients can be absorbed into the cell, passing through the membrane of the vesicle, while the waste can wait uh, for exocytosis to be expelled. In exocytosis, a vesicle is going to be moved to the cell membrane. When it fuses with the cell membrane, the contents of the vesicle will be expelled from the cell. Now, vesicles are composed of the same phospholipids uh, that the cell membrane is, so it is easy for these to fuse together. Uh, the contents of the vesicle may be waste products from phagocytosis, representing things that could not be broken down or digested. In some cells of the body, exocytosis is not connected to phagocytosis, but contains hormones or neurotransmitters, things that, which have been synthesized to leave the cell.